let's see what we have in the box here. We have documentation that's kind of in a ripped bag. Again, this is refurbished, so it doesn't seem too torn up, but obviously somebody's been in here before. Not a big deal. I knew that going into it. It is a refurbished television set. So here we go. We have a disc. I don't know if that's uh, it's a Tri-Def 3D installer. So I really don't know what that is. That might be drivers. I don't know what that's all about. There's another disc here. Cinema 3D monitor. Owner's manual. It's a loose disc there. And then you just have some other documentation in here. Here is the power cord. Just a basic power cord that you'll find on tower PCs and monitors like this. Here is a VGA cord. There you go. Both ends look like that. Now VGA cords are analog, so you want to use them only if you have to. Your preference should be HDMI, DVI, or DisplayPort. Up next we have a DVI cord. And this is generally what I use to connect my monitors to my PCs. Right there. Here are the 3D glasses. They are passive 3D lenses. Looks like you get... Oh wow, interesting. You get one pair. Right there. LG Cinema 3D. A little bit different looking than the ones I got with my TV. Then you get a little microfiber cloth to clean them with, and I find this works very well. These are actually clip-on polarized lenses, which is pretty interesting because I've never seen that before. And that's really cool because you could actually take this to the movie theater, clip it onto your glasses, and still see 3D. Or, of course, using it on this monitor here, if you wear glasses, you can clip that onto them and get the benefits of the 3D. And that's actually really cool because I always, or I hear one of the gripes from people that, you know, they wear glasses and wearing the 3D glasses over the glasses because they don't have contact lenses is a pain. So this is a solution to that. So it's actually very cool. I've never seen that before and I've been kind of into this 3D thing for a couple of years now. So that's very cool. So right here is the base of the monitor, and it's that hyper-gloss finish that will always grab your fingerprints. But there are no scratches on there, so I'm pretty happy about that. Looks pretty good. And then of course you mount the actual monitor with this one screw here. And here we go the monitor itself. Now, as you may or might not be able to see, it does have three inputs here. It has the VGA input here, which again is the analog input that you want to stay clear from if you can. If Again, if you have to, you have to. Here's the DVI port here, which is the way I probably will be connecting it. Also, it has an HDMI port here, and HDMI carries sound and uh, video, so I believe this port right here is an audio jack that ports the audio out to speakers. On this side over here you just have your power plug. Of course you have some venting here, you have a black matte plastic back, you have the LG branding right there, you have some venting here, and then you have spots for a VESA mount here. You have the four screw holes here. If you want to mount this to the wall, or if you want to mount something to the back of this monitor. And here is what the front of the monitor looks like. A matte screen, even though it has a slight gloss to it, but it is a matte screen, which is nice. I always prefer matte screens 100% of the time. If I'm given the option of glossy or matte, I prefer matte 100% of the time. So let's see if I can get this where you can actually see it. There we go, without me having to hold on to it. So far so good, everything looks to be in really good condition. Of course I haven't fired it up yet, so we'll find out how that works when I actually fire it up. On the front you do have a glossy bezel. You have this sticker here, more vivid, more comfort. This will have to come off, so I might as well pull it off now. 
because there's no way I'm keeping that on while I'm using the monitor. Again, over there, 3D Cinema. Hopefully my cat doesn't want to jump onto this. You have your LG branding here. You have some buttons here for control, contrast, all that good stuff. And then you have your power button over here. It is Energy Star certified. Let's pull this off here. It's an LED monitor, full HD resolution, so you get 1080p out of this. Of course, I showed you the HDMI port on the back. You can convert 2D to 3D content on this. Uh, it says brighter 3D, so we'll see what that's all about. Flicker free, electron wave free, don't really know what that is, and uh, 3D effect mode. So I pretty much know what to expect out of this. Again, I do have an LG 3D television set although that's a 47 inch and this is a 23 inch. And of course with a television set you do get you know the, the bells and whistles with that, the TV tuner and whatnot, whereas this is just a straight monitor. So in order to put this together, I might as well do it right here. What you need to do, or what I need to do, is put this into here. So, there we go. And then just tighten the screw down. I'm going to do it by hand right now, and then I'll get a screwdriver. It does have a flathead bit on there, as you can see. But there we go. Monitor is ready to go. Why don't I take this upstairs and put it on my desk and actually attach my computer to it so you can see this thing in action. So here's the monitor on my desktop here. And I don't know if you can see, my desk is actually black, so it's black on black. But um, everything looks pretty nice. I'm pretty impressed with the picture quality on this. And I have it hooked up with the DVI cord. Now, one thing about the monitor, it actually pivots up and down, as you can see there. It's kind of pivoted up, and you can pivot it down. And the reason for that is because the 3D is very particular in that it has to be presented to your eyes at the angle that you're looking at it. Otherwise you're going to get a blurry effect. So taking a look at it from the side view here, you can see the angle a little bit better. You can push it back like that, or you can bring it forward like that. So you do have somewhat of a range there. It doesn't swivel or anything, but you can move the base. It's pretty light. Now, in my setup, I find that tilting it backward, the top being further back than the bottom, actually works for the desk that I have because the monitor is actually a little bit lower than eye level. So that way, if I tilt it upward, it gives me the perspective on it that I need. Now this monitor actually comes with some software. There's Tridef 3D and then Yazam 3D Movies. Apparently the Yazam 3D Movies is no longer functional. The one that I'm going to show you is the Tridef 3D. Now unfortunately not all functions work on this anymore. As you can see here I get a dialog box here that says Tridef Software Updater and if I want to update that and hit download here, turns out that the site is no longer active. So whoever made the software is no longer making it. But fortunately, you do get this back here. So let me actually just X out of this, or actually say remind me later. You do get this, which gives you a taste of the 3D that you can get on this monitor. Now, if you have 3D glasses on, this actually is very good 3D here, these roses, these half dozen roses here. It shows you, basically this is just showing you what you need to do to make sure that you're getting the 3D functionality you want out of this monitor. So it tells you you have to be 50 to 90 centimeters away from the monitor and that you should tilt it in the direction that's going to best suit your needs or viewing needs in this case. Again, like I said, since the monitor is a little bit lower than eye level, I tilt it backward and I can see the 3D perfectly on here. You, since you don't have the 3D glasses on and since I can't translate 3D onto YouTube like this, you're just going to have to take my word for it. The 3D here is good. Now you can choose to not show this, 
but I think it's handy to actually calibrate the tilt of the monitor when you're actually looking at this. So I choose to keep this on every time I launch it. So I'm going to hit OK here, and it's going to bring me to a menu here. Now all of this is in 3D if you have the 3D glasses on. The only thing is is that when you hover over a selection, it actually has a little bit of ghosting there, which is not so cool. So I'm kind of worried about the 3D quality on this monitor, although I haven't put it through its paces to actually you know, get the full effect or make a full informed opinion on it. Now, you have the option of watching 3D movies. You can click on this, and there are actually some samples here. Unfortunately, I have yet to get them to run. There's, uh, I think, five samples here. If I click on one of them, it says loading, and it just says loading, and it never goes on to anything. That's unfortunate, and that's probably because some of the functions of this software are no longer valid. As I said, when you try and download the new version of it, you're not going to be able to download anything because the site no longer exists. So I'm assuming that the video is not installed with the program. It's something that it pulls down from the internet, and since the site no longer exists, the video no longer exists. At least that's what my experience is so far on this. I have yet to get this to play. But that really has more to do with the software than it has to do with the monitor itself. Remember what you're, you know, the reason I purchased this monitor is to be able to edit 3D content so I can see what I'm doing and I could watch 3D content on it as well. But if you click on the pictures here, these pictures are actually um, you know, installed on the computer itself. So I don't have to worry about downloading it from somewhere. Of course you're seeing it blurry, but if you get the angle correct on the monitor, the 3D is flawless on this. You don't have to worry about any blur in the pictures, just make sure that the, the monitor is tilted correctly and all these pictures are really good 3D. No ghosting or anything like that. So the only ghosting so far that I've experienced on it is on this menu here. Not this menu. This menu here. And it's only when you hover over selection. When you're not hovered over the selection, the 3D is really good.